I might does well, no, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> no, let's let's discuss the relative circus freakishness of your various lady parts, my love. Yes. I think No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. This one time. So this one time. This one time? <laughs> this you know what? This one time. This one time. Oh my god, this one time. The podcast. I don't think I'm funny today. Well, I don't think either is funny, but we'll make that happen. Greetings from Bangkok. In just a moment, stories of our moral turpitude. But before we get there, hello, my lover. Hello, baby. And hello, everyone. I'm Sheila D. And I am Evo Terra. And have we got a story for you? Now, listen, listener. In case you can't tell, uh, this is not a new filter I have applied to uh, enhance the ultra sexiness of both my and my lovely lady's voice. This is not sexy. We're dying. You gave it to me. No, no. Actually, this this is punishment. This is punishment from on high from our (laughs) sins. This is the Lord himself raining hellfire upon us for those things we have done. This is Allah saying, I saw what you did and it was bad. This is Yahweh said, wait, those all three are the same God. Uh, Anyhow, the guy's not happy with us. Um, And and for right reasons. So listener, um, we never said we were responsible travelers. That's not our our shtick. Or people. Well, that's... (laughs) That goes without saying. Um, We have friends of ours who are travel bloggers who live in the responsible tourism world, and they promote and they do that. And and by and large, we try our best to follow their uh, guidelines and rules. There there are things we won't do. Right. We did something that you should never, ever do. Never. I have erased it from my mind. (laughs) Well, then we're going to try and talk about it, so... As you know, Bangkok, Thailand is a hotspot of sex tourism. Yes. And one of the many things you can do as a as a sex tourist, which by the way, I have absolutely no issue against sex tourism. Don't mind it whatsoever. I have issues with it depending on how like the girls get there and if the girls are taken care of and that Look, kind of stuff. There are some of the mechanics that need worked out there are definitely room there's definitely problems inherent in the system but the concept of sex tourism is kind of like prostitution yeah as a concept i have no issue with it as as a as a concept um but there are some problems which is the reality of things listen i'm not gonna beat around the bush we went to a ping pong show no i'm just gonna say you went to a ping pong show because i again i've wiped it from my head If you're unaware of what a ping pong show is, listeners, it is exactly what your mind is picturing right now. Um, Ping pongs and other materials are propelled from uh, lady bits. Yes. Does that sound sexy to you? Well, let me show you. Are you asking me? I'm asking you if you can pull your mind back from 72 hours ago. Did that sound like a potentially sexy thing to you? I don't know if it sounded sexy. I think I was more curious. It's definitely like, uh, I don't know. It's so. I Again, my question was, did you think it might be sexy when you first heard of the concept of talented women with interesting, perhaps even super um, lady bits, the various things they might propel from them? Maybe a little, I guess. Did you? Well, there's some intrigue. Answer, okay. There is some intrigue to the idea that this particular body part has acrobatic functions that Eh. I have largely been unaware of. Me as well. Well, (laughs) (laughs) all right. I might just, well, no, I'm not going to go there. (laughs) No, let's, let's discuss... The relative circus freakishness of your various lady parts, my love. I think. No, no, no. This this is 
gone off rail. Okay. How many times have you done the rain no, toss? No, 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 no. Off topic, off topic. Back to Can Friday Can you night. pop back balloons with back, your... Back to Friday night. Can you pull a 25-flower fold rope? Night. Actually, everything I'm talking about right now was there on Friday night. <laughs> Can you insert a straw and blow out candles? I'm going to say I have no idea. Can you put I'm going to say no. Can you put a clown's honky horn in your mouth and make honky sounds and whistling sounds with it? In my mouth? Yes, I can. Oh, did I say in your mouth? Yes. I did not mean... I mean mean your second mouth. (laughs) I seriously... I've I've never tried. These ladies have. most people have it. Listen, these... but what I'm really concerned about, like, how do you know that's something you can do? Oh, Let me right. show you this party trick. Or is that Let something me... you learn at an early age? I mean, when do you figure out that you can actually ingest a bubble of air into your cervix and then with complete lack of any sphincter muscles, somehow compress and propel that air out to do various Whatever, things yeah. that blowing air out might do? Play a little tune. Right. How do you know you can do this? Listener, have you, can you do this? <laughs> do you know someone who has the bits necessary, who has had, had something unusual happen to them, perhaps in their formative years, perhaps in college? Um, maybe, hey. maybe it's something that's a, a skill that's passed down from generation. <laughs> Because if you do, we would, we would love to hear from you. Um, and if you find this at all fascinating, the next time you come to Thailand, don't go to a ping pong show. And please don't invite us because we are not going again. Jesus. That was one and done. I'm done. I've erased it from my mind. Here's the thing about that. You know, back to sex tourism for a moment. Um, I can see, well, let's let's take an activity you and I both enjoy. We have been known to go to uh, strip clubs Mm -hmm. together, to go to go-go bars together. There's good music. There are attractive ladies. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of fun. We've gone repeated times to do this. Um, You, I can, I can assume that, you know, if you are going into some of the uh, uh, massage parlors of ill repute here, repeat activity, you know, going back again, makes sense for that. I can't imagine anyone has ever gone to a ping pong show twice. I don't know. I'm so, like, I'm repulsed by it. That's it's, the thing. It is. It was so, um, it, if, if nothing, it was awkward at the worst. Very much so. There were, it wasn't like oozy, gross, that's the disgusting, right. flappy thing. And none of that was there. But it was, I think we were, we were, it was awkward. And the girls doing it were... Uh, Okay, they they certainly weren't enjoying themselves in the show and were right. very aggressive about, you know, wanting more money, more money. I mean, it, was, yeah. it was clearly a, I'll do something kind of horrific and really dumb, right. and you will give me money for it. Right. And that permeated the whole thing. So any, any that's fascinating, was quickly gone. I mean, you might have, went, oh, there's a new trick. I haven't seen what you're going to do now. Oh, she's inhaling cigarette smoke. And exhaling cigarette smoke with her JJ. Right. That's cool for less time than it took me to say it. <laughs> All of those things were cool for less time. I mean, you stand up to look I, and you I, I realize... Don't like the word cool. Oh. It's, as it sounds cool. It sounds like that might be interesting. And then quickly, it's not yeah. interesting. We took one for you, listener, so that you... Don't have to do this. This now makes like twice in three weeks I have done something probably morally reprehensible. I need to be a good boy. Yes. I yes, you to, do. Don't you teach at a Catholic school? I do. <laughs> Can you introduce me to someone? <laughs> do you need to come in and go to Mass? Oh, my God. <laughs> this is my confessional right here. Bless me, listener, for I have sinned. Enough about this because I'm done with uh, the ping pong show. I understand. We are going to be sending out our postcards soon. Yeah, it's postcard time again. Um, we just got our last batch of money from 
from Patreon. Thank you to our patrons who support us each and every month. Really, it makes the show possible. This is now the single sole income we have is those people who support us on Patreon. Keep bringing fun shows like this. Well, I'm not sure this is a fun show. I'm sure some of you are laughing at it. Some of you may have turned off immediately. Um, I think I'm going to put part of the funds away for your good boy activities. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's the bad boy activities that cost more money than the good boy activities. <laughs> so, not that any we don't here uh, we don't take any PayPal funds to fund our moral turpitude things. Promise you that. Unless, of course, you'd like us to, and then just make a little note when you go to patreon.com slash OPP travelers and get signed up on our list. We'll send you a postcard uh, and you can keep us doing good things or, or bad things if that's really what you want us to do. Our music is by Valea Valea. Thanks for listening, listener. I am Evo Terra. And I'm Sheila D. For more information on us, some of which you really don't want, um, but occasionally things that you do. We're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on all those various things, and you can find links to that and most other places, uh, most of the things we're doing at shivo.wtf.com.